Good morning, kids! Welcome to another day of our class. It is another day of fun and learning. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 3, Quarter 1, Week 5. Milk Base Our lesson for today is about estimating the sums and adding mentally. So kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! Objective Estimates the sum of 3 to 4 digit addends with reasonable result. Adds mentally the following numbers using appropriate strategies. A. 2 digit and 1 digit numbers without or with regrouping. B. 2 to 3 digit numbers with multiples of hundreds. There are situations where you may not know the exact number of something. For example, you may not at once know that your village has a population of 2,543 people. This is when you estimate. For example, your village has population of 2,543. We can estimate this number by rounding up to 2,500. You can say that the village has a population of about 2,500. 2,543 is estimated to 2,500 because 2,543 is rounded up to the nearest hundreds. The digit that is in the hundreds place is 5. If we estimate 2,543, to 2,500 and 2,600, which number is close or nearer to the exact number, 2,543? Correct! It's 2,500. 2,543 is nearer to 2,500. The digit that is nearest 100 is 5. It is in the hundreds place. If the digit in the tens place are 1, 2, 3, and 4, we round down. If the digits in the tens place are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, we round up. Estimation is also helpful in addition. You can estimate by rounding off numbers. Estimation is finding a number that is close to the exact answer. Here are the tips in rounding off numbers. You will apply this in estimating sums. First is, estimate the sum to the nearest tens. For example, 4,739 plus 5,471. The nearest tens of 4,739 is 39. What number is nearer to 39? Is it 30 or 40? Very good! The answer is 40. 39 is nearer to 40. So 4,739 is rounded up to 4,740. The nearest tens of 5,471 is 71. What number is nearer to 71? Is it 70? or 80? Very good! The answer is 70. 71 is nearer to 70. So 5,471 is rounded up to 5,470. Now let's estimate the sum. So the estimated sum is 10,210. 4,740 plus 5,470 equals 10,210. Another, estimate the sum to the nearest hundreds. Like for example, 5,637 plus 2,573. The nearest hundred on the first addends is 637. What number is nearer to 637? 
Is it 600 or 700? Very good! The answer is 600. 637 is nearer to 600. So 5,637 is rounded up to 5,600. The nearest hundreds of 2,573 is 573. What number is nearer to 573? Is it 500 or 600? Very good! The answer is 600. So 2,573 is rounded up to 2,600. Let's estimate the sum. Let's add first 5,600 plus 2,600. So the estimated sum is 8,200. Another, estimate the sum to the nearest thousands. Example, 4,613 plus 2,483. The nearest thousands of the first addends is 4,613. What number is nearer to 4,613? Is it 4,000 or 5,000? Correct! The answer is 5,000. So 4,613 is rounded up to 5,000. 2,483 is the nearest thousands. So what number is nearer to 2,483? Is it 2,000 or 3,000? Correct! The answer is 2,000. So 2,483 is rounded up to 2,000. Now let's estimate the sum. Let's add 5,000 plus 2,000. So the estimated sum is 7,000. Did you get it kids? Now try to do the following activities. Round off each addend as indicated. Then get the estimated sum. Write the rounded off numbers and the estimated sum on the lines. Are you ready? Answer number 1 and 2 by rounding up the addends to the nearest tens. And then estimate the sum to the nearest tens. Letter B. Nearest hundreds. Do number 3 and 4 by rounding up the addends to the nearest hundreds. Then estimate the sum. Letter C. Nearest thousands. Do 5 and 6 by rounding up the addends to the nearest thousands. Then estimate the sum. Kids, you can pause this video and write your answer in your notebook. Now, it's time to reveal the answer. So, let's answer first number 1. 5,843 is rounded up to 5,840. The next addends is 2,366 is rounded up to 2,370. So, the estimated sum is 8,210. Number 2, 7,674 is rounded off to 7,670 plus 1,465 is rounded off to 1,470. So the estimated sum is 9,140. Letter V, nearest hundreds. Number 3. 3,761 is rounded up to 3,800 plus 4,825 is rounded up to 4,800. So the estimated sum is 8,600. Number 4, 5,623 is rounded up to 5,600. Plus 2,875 is rounded up to 2,900. So the estimated sum is 8,500. Letter C, nearest thousands. Number 5. 6,234 is rounded up to 6,000. 
plus 7,625 is rounded off to 8,000. So the estimated sum is 14,000. Number 6, 3,500 is rounded off to 4,000. Plus 1,654 is rounded off to 2,000. So the estimated sum is 6,000. Did you get it, kids? Very good! Now, let us learn about adding mentally. Do you know how to add mentally? It is important to learn how to add mentally. There are different strategies that you can use to perform mental addition. Number 1. Think of a number you can easily get by adding. Then find two numbers that will result to this number when added. Like for examples, the add-ins for the sum of 10 are the following. 9 plus 1, 8 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 6 plus 4, and 5 plus 5. So the answer of the following add-ins is 10. The add-ins for the sum of 20 are the following. 10 plus 5, 10 plus 10, 18 plus 2, 11 plus 9. So the sum of the following add-ins is 20. Number 2. Recall the different properties of addition like order property and grouping property of addition to obtain the numbers that are easier to use in addition. Like for example, this is an example of order property of addition. Like, 4 plus 5 equals 9. 5 plus 4 equals 9. So it means, changing the order of the addends doesn't change the sum. This example is for grouping property of addition. So open and close parentheses, 2 plus 6 plus 8 equals 16. So 2 plus 6 equals 8 plus 8 equals 16. Then, we can change the grouping property like this. 2 plus, open and close parentheses, 6 plus 8 equals 16. There are two ways in adding mentally. Number 1, adding mentally without regrouping. For examples, 22 plus 6 equals, you can add like this. You can add 6 ones. 22 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 28. So 22 plus 6 equals 28. Another example is 53 plus 5 equals add 3 plus 5 first. The digit in the ones place. So 3 plus 5 equals 8. Retain the 5. So the sum is 58. Number 2. Adding mentally with regrouping. Examples. 16 plus 27 equals. Add 6 plus 7 first. Add the digit in the ones place. So 6 plus 7 equals 13. Then add the digit in the tens place. 10 plus 20 equals 30. Then add 30 plus 13. Add the sum of 6 plus 7 and 10 plus 20. The sum is 43. So 16 plus 27 equals 43. Now it's time for your activities. Find the sum mentally. Use a timer to time yourself. Write your answer in your notebook. Are you ready? Number 1. 35 plus 2 equals Number 2. 82 plus 4 equals Number 3. 27 plus 7 equals Number 4. 81 plus 8 equals Number 5. 64 plus 6 equals Number 6, 37 plus 10 equals Number 7, 45 plus 21 equals 
Number 8. 63 plus 36 equals... Kids, you can pause this video and write your answer in your notebook. Now I will reveal the answer. So the answer on number 1 is 37. Number 2 answer is 86. Number 3 answer is 34. Number 4 answer is 89. Number 5 answer is 70. Number 6 answer is 47. Number 7 answer is 66. Number 8 answer is 99. Are your answers correct, kids? Very good, kids! Remember, estimation is finding a number that is close to the exact answer. Adding mentally is important to learn. It can help you in schoolwork and your everyday life. So kids, did you understand our topic for today? Very good! So again, our topic was about estimating the sums and adding mentally. Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!